Section twenty three of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bow by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. A Death Scene by Emily Bronte. O day, he cannot die when thou so fair art shining. O sun in such a glorious sky so tranquilly declining. He cannot leave thee now while fresh west winds are blowing, And all around his youthful brow thy cheerful light is glowing. Edward, awake, awake! The golden evening gleams warm and bright on Arden's lake, Arouse thee from thy dreams. Beside thee, on my knee, my dearest friend, I pray That thou, to cross the eternal sea, wouldst yet one hour delay. I hear its billows roar, I see them foaming high, But no glimpse of a further shore has blessed my straining eye. Believe not what they urge of Eden Isles beyond, Turn back from that tempestuous surge to thy own native land. It is not death but pain that struggles in thy breast. Nay, rally, Edward, rouse again, I cannot let thee rest. One long look that sore reproved me For the woe I could not bear. One mute look of suffering moved me To repent my useless prayer. And with sudden check The heaving of distraction passed away. Not a sign of further grieving Stirred my soul that awful day. Paled at length the sweet sun setting, Sunk to peace the twilight breeze. Summer dews fell softly, Wetting glen and glade and silent trees. Then his eyes began to weary, Weighed beneath a mortal sleep, And their orbs grew strangely dreary, Clouded even as they would weep. But they wept not, but they changed not, Never moved and never closed. Troubled still, and still they ranged not, Wandered not, nor yet reposed. So I knew that he was dying, Stooped and raised his languid head, Felt no breath and heard no sighing, So I knew that he was dead. End of section 23